What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. We have a brand new Weber grill, to kick off the barbecue season. The Genesis 335, which just happens to be my favorite Weber grill in the entire lineup. This is their new EX Smart Grill. I'm excited. I'm curious if the Smart Grill features are any good, or should you just save your money and get the regular 335? Let's see how useful these features are. Let's get it unboxed. Okay, so here she is put together. This is the Weber EX335, which means it's their smart, their smart grill. We're gonna find out how smart it actually is. Um, if you're not familiar with the 335 series, I have a full length video on it that goes really, really in depth on this. Um, so I'll give you a quick run through. The 335 is my favorite out of all the Genesis series or the 435 if you went with a bigger one. I don't like the base grade Genesis because I don't like the open cabinet. I like with the 335, we have an enclosed cabinet door system. We have a side burner and a sear station, which we'll talk about in a minute. Let's, so let's go over those features. So we have our enclosed cabinet and this is sort of a love hate thing. And uh, commenters, you guys are about half and half on whether you like this or not, is the propane tank sitting on the outside and this only about halfway hides it. Now, I think it looks terrible Ooh. having a propane tank on the outside of the grill. I hate the way it looks. But a lot of you commenters brought to my attention that it leaves this completely empty for more storage, which is nice. So there definitely is some functionality to it. Aesthetically, I don't like it though. So your propane tank's gonna sit here and then you have this little tank leveler tells you how full or open your tank is. Full or open, what is that? That's not how you say that. Full or empty, right? Empty yeah, is the word, empty. empty. Yep, so sometimes my grammar gets a little out of control. So that's that. Um, super cool side burner. I just did it again. It's not, that, it's not that cool. It's just a regular side burner, not bad. Nice to have, but nothing fancy. It does get hot. When we test it, it gets pretty hot, but it's just a basic side burner. Not a ton you can do with that, in my opinion. All right, let's get under the hood. We'll talk about this in a second. Of course, a couple features I like about Weber is they have the solid, solid aluminum tub. So you can see this is seamless tub that's in here all the way up. We have our retractable warming rack. Really cool feature I like about Weber a lot is that feature. So you can easily put it away. Come on, see how easy it is? So easy. There it goes. Um, and then these are our grease deflectors here. Let's show you these. And then we have our burners. So there's our burners. Now again, this is what, a couple things with Weber. I don't like, I mean, I guess it's technically is a sear station, but this is their sear station. It's nothing special. It's just condensing burners together. So this knob kind of indicates you have a different, different system going on. It's not, it's the same thing, just three burners right together. So of course that area is gonna get super hot. So if you're gonna sear, you'd wanna sear right over this guy right here. I have a new top five um, grill, grill review coming out. So you guys wanna subscribe, stay tuned for that. This is making it to the top five, but the reason I just said that is I think there's some better technology out there for searing, which we'll talk about. We'll save that for another day. How about that? Um, so that's our sear station and our burners. Of course, like all Weber's, has a nice 10 year warranty. They're super rock solid in their customer service. Then we got cast iron cooking grates. I don't know in the, in the regular series you can upgrade to stainless steel. I haven't checked to see if that's available on the Smart Series or not. We'll do a little caption to let you know afterwards. So cast iron cooking grates, 
The Genesis series in the upgraded models, again, the 335, in my opinion, rock solid grill, really well priced, very, a lot of good value, backed by a good brand. Um, it's very solid. I think there's better grills out there for the money. But my question is, is now with this new smart grill, this smart grill feature is added a few hundred bucks. So now it's kind of putting that into more of that quality type grill where you're getting away from big box products. And so with this price bump of the smart features, it's getting into a different category where you're getting, you're getting different competitors in that price range. Is it, are those smart features worth it? I don't know. So let's download the app, play with the smart features, and see what we think about it. So we're downloading the app. There are two other features besides the smart feature you get with this. So we're gonna get backlit knobs. Fancy, that's fancy. You see that there? Yep. Do, the, do the guys at home need a close up or you think they're okay? I'll give them a close up. You will? Okay, thanks man. Um, and then we get our cool little light I don't know. Not a huge fan of the light handle. It's better than not having one at all, I guess. It is motion, so it shuts off here. But uh, that's it here. So you get those two upgrades along with it. The backlit knobs and your handle light. But you, you can buy this handle light as an accessory. It's not expensive, so that's not essential. All right, let's turn on our smart feature here. Why don't you get a close-up of, of this here? so we can figure out how to pair the device so we can show the folks at home how easy it is or how hard it is. Oh, found it. Let's pair it. Oh, something happened. Press and release the check mark button as shown on the video above. Paired. Your device has been paired successfully. It's got to check the most current software version, so we'll let that happen. So it's connected via Bluetooth, says we can connect with Wi-Fi. So let's do that. Let me do that quick. Okay, so now we're gonna turn on our notifications. So it can notify us, gives us recipes. I guess that's the only new feature. So let's see here. So we can set our grill temperature alert. So it can alert us when our grill reaches the temp, desired temp. Of course, nothing's on, so we're at uh, you know, just the room temp in here. And then this feature tells us how full our propane tank is. So you can tell she's empty because there's no propane tank on there. Uh, let's see here. So let's say we have cooking programs. Let's play with this. Let's say we're gonna do ground beef. beef. You can set the meat probe for what you want telling me I'm low on fuel. Okay, so we have to set our grill temp. Set your grill for food to on direct on high heat. So it tells us how hot to put the grill. It's kind of cool, a little step-by-step -step on how to make everything. Put our meat probes in. Not a bad little app. Let's plug in a meat probe. See what that does here. So it comes with one, and you have the choice to buy a second one. So you have two meat probe options. Okay, there's our meat probe. So it's telling us we're at 78 degrees. Let's just say I, let's see if I can warm it up a little bit. Oh yeah, see she's climbing. So you can see it's gonna, re it's gonna tell you the grill temp and then the temp of the meat probe. Annually, an annual, what am I trying to say? Analog? No, because that's a digital interface. Forget that part. So it's gonna tell us our temperatures here, and we also have it on the controls on our device as well. Okay, so that's really it. That's how you use the app. The question is, is what do you think, Elijah? Is this smart enough? Does this actually make it a smart grill, having this? Um, what do you think? I think technically yes, but a lot of other grills are already doing that for more bang for your buck. Ooh, so Elijah's, or Elijah's starting to uh, think he's a little salesman here. Uh, 
said other grills do that. That's true. So here's what I think of it. Is there value in springing for the smart grill system? Well, let's talk about what these features give you. I hate to say it, but this smart grill feature is 100% a gimmick. It just is. Why? This doesn't actually make your grill smart. This is doing what any third-party Bluetooth temp controls do. Um, why do I say that? So why these Wi-Fi enabled features work so well, um, we see them a lot with pellet smokers, is because the hopper that feeds the pellet smoker is all electrical. So what actually makes it a smart grill or a smart pellet smoker is the fact that these Wi-Fi controls or these digital controls give us, we can actually control the barbecue with these, if that makes sense. So for example, let's say you have ribs on and you're uh, playing some golf or something while your ribs are cooking. You can monitor on a pellet smoker, you can monitor this and you can actually change the temp of the grill. Maybe you can look at your ribs and be like, oh, oh shoot, my ribs are overcooking. I mean, classic mistake, you know, overcook your ribs, happens, happens to the best of us. You can actually turn that grill down while you're not home. On this, if you're watching your ribs overcook and you're not home, you're just watching them overcook. There's nothing you can do about it. The grill can't actually do anything. And so that's why it's not a smart grill is because this is a third party Bluetooth, can't talk today, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi app controls and it's literally built into this piece of stainless steel. That's all it is. And you can get any one of these from any other place and it will do the exact same thing and you're not gonna spend as much money as having a smart grill. For example, my favorite one to use, we'll include links below on it. I use it at home, it's a brand called Meter, M-E-A-T-E-R and their, their probes are wireless, so you don't have any wires, because what happens too with these wires is they go bad all the time. And so the wireless ones are stinking awesome. So it has a little block that basically does this exact function, but all your probes are completely wireless, which is, is better, it's just a better system. So if, you, if it was me, I would get the 335, just the regular Genesis, and take that extra money and instead of buying a smart grill, I would buy like a third party accessory, like a brand like Meter or something that has, that's a superior type of meat probe product because there's a lot better type meat probes out there than these super basic ones. So that's my long winded rant on why I think it's a gimmick because it's just a marketing play in my opinion. It's not really a smart grill. So that's what I'd like to see as technology develops in the future with grills. If this control panel could control the heat coming out of our um, gas burners, which would probably be in a significant cost, I'm guessing. That's why we don't see it yet. If it could actually change the temperature of my grill. Now, now we'd be talking. Now, now we have a different story. But until it can actually do something, until it can actually control the grill like a pellet smoker does, it's just not a smart grill. It, it, it isn't. It has an integrated meat probe, that's all it is. It's just a meat probe with a pretty cool app. And those recipes aren't bad, but you can download this and flip through the recipes on any grill. You don't need the smart grill in order to use the recipes in here. So, I'm not gonna be mad if you guys buy the smart grill. If, if you wanna spring for it and you just want the latest and greatest, get it. But, I'm not gonna be mad if you buy the regular one either. I'm not mad at that. It's a good choice, rock solid choice. That's what I would do. If I was dead set on getting a Weber Genesis, I would get the regular Genesis and buy my own smart features as third party accessories. That's me. You guys do what you want. Someone's gonna blast me saying, why would you ever leave the house when you're cooking ribs anyway? Eh, you know, you might have a point, but I'll save, I'll save you the comment. You know, I'll, be, I'll beat you to it. But even if you're at home, Let's just say you're really lazy and you don't want to walk outside. How cool would it be to just change the, the knob controls from your phone? Now, now we're talking. Um, if I'd gone on long enough about the meat probes, Elijah? Yeah. yeah, too long? A little bit. A little too long? Okay. Well, we'll wrap it up then. Um, final thoughts on this. I do like the Weber Genesis. 
I think some of the competitors that out there are superior, especially when we get into this price range. They have priced themselves with the Smart Grill right in line with another one of our favorite grills. That's coming up in the top five. New top five coming. You have to subscribe to see the new top five. We're basically breaking down barbecue buying guides into three categories to simplify the purchasing and research process because it's too long. And we have a separate video coming out on that on the buyer's guide, but essentially we'll have quality grills, top five quality grills, which is what this will fall into, top five premium grills, and our top five luxury grills, uh, the big dogs. Um, so you can break it down by category that way. This one will fall into the top five quality grills. So it's a step up from big box, but you're not playing with the big dogs yet either though. So Weber Genesis Smart Grill, final thoughts, rock solid grill. I could, I could live without the smart feature though, don't need it. Um, and these lights aren't doing anything for me. That's just me though. You guys gotta tell me what you think. Subscribe, stay tuned for more. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come down and see this grill for yourself. Stay tuned for more.